We called him the Raja. Oh, what a name. Out of New York City, he rose to fame. When you come to New York City, you know, when you talk about, you know, Roger Brown, you don't have to say Roger Brown. All you have to say is Roger. There he is. There's Roger. There's a Roger. R-A-J-A-H. But I have to say Brown is the greatest high school player I've ever seen anytime, anywhere. Boys, Wingate play the big one. Hawkins will face Brown, and that's exactly what happened. They went head to head. And Roger showed the guy how to play basketball at the college. He took him outside, he took him inside. He was throwing jump shots, like you said, from Needix, from 8th Avenue. It's the thing that uh, fables are passed down from generations to generation. Only this one was true, you know. <laughs> they pulled him out of college. They had no clue what was going on. Locked him in a whole hotel room in Manhattan for a week grilled the hell out of him. What he did was they knew Jack Molina's big deal. Every kid in the ghetto, in every ghetto in the country, knows the numbers guys and the drug dealers. Believe me, they know them, because I knew them myself. Banned for life. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if all the things that guys have done in this world, and they get a second chance, and a third chance, and a book of chances, and Connie Hawkins and Roger Brown, who did nothing, and they're banned. He was robbed of his prime, his prime years. Those were all-star years. Those were history-making years. There's a player I know over in Dayton, Ohio, that you should take a look at. I think I think he could, he could, he could make you help your basketball team. If the big O recommends him, he's got to be pretty good. He was just incredible. He really was. He rocked this city. The Pacers were the class of the league, and Roger was the class of the class. Couldn't nobody guard him one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, you know, come on, man. You know how they say they can't guard Kobe one-on-one, they can't guard Michael one-on-one, -on -one. they couldn't guard Roger Brown one-on-one. -on -one. And he'd make your fake, fake right, left, boom, jump shot. Little quick step, one, two, fake right, back left, jump shot, fake left, go right, two dribbles, jump shot, and that's what he did. <laughs> and he did, a, he did a very good job of it also. He was a playoff player. He was a money player with the money ball. I mean, when you came to the wire in a ball game, I mean, this is when this guy really turned it on. He always talked about using the tools of basketball for other reasons. Get your education, go back into your community, uplift your community. Going into politics, uh, law enforcement, so he became a model off the court as much as on the court. That said something about him as a person, that he cared about the city as well as the sports team. I paced the floor and started crying. And here's a man I looked up to who's ill. And he, he can't, he can't die. And, uh, you know, he kind of looked out the car and he goes, wow, he goes, I wonder if this will be the last time I see the sky. And it really was. Oh, yeah, man. Just, just gut wrenching. I mean, this guy is like a great athlete, like, like you said, like a god. How do you die? Only ABA guys and Playground guys really know who Roger Brown really is. You know, I mean, I mean, it's a shame, man. Jordan, um, Oscar Robertson, Jerry West. I mean, I think he was in that category of player. Top 50 all time. I put him in top 50. Easily. He can knock a few guys off that list. <laughs> top 10. I'll put him up against anybody. You put him in that last two minutes. I'll put him up against anybody. He would have been known as one of the best players in the history of the game. And I don't think he got that chance. What he went through and what he had to overcome and what he made of his life, it's pretty neat, pretty neat. Now it's up to us to tell the story because not many people know number 35.